all right youtube i have been back at it again i was not satisfied with that first press so this is that pile of metal that i posted i don't know a couple weeks ago or something like that but it is completely electric electric uh table lift Electric table lift. And electric pump. Oh, wrong way. What is going on? What is happening? Uh oh. I've got a malfunction. We're not plugged in. We're not plugged in. That'll do it. You got to plug your stuff in, don't you? Won't work if you ain't got no power on it. And it was a little bit slow on the release back into that. Slower than the, uh, than the foot air operated pump was. So you can see that I hooked me up some spring assist here. And, uh, you know, I also made this one a whole lot easier for the uh, thing to roll back and forth to both sides. So it's got two foot of horizontal travel. Six inches of stroke. And uh, I found these casters. I looked these casters up. The casters are rated for 12,000 pounds for the set. So, I mean, it rolls smooth as butter. Let me get these pins back in so I got to handle the steer with. And uh, I'll show you what I'm talking about. So look, it's just one hand, right? Pulling on the pin. I hadn't weighed it yet, but last time I weighed it, it was over 700 pounds. So I got me a little crane scale here. That weighing it is gonna be, weighing it is gonna be my next thing. Uh, crane scale, electric hoist. But I went with a 440 and that sucker would not move the table. So uh, I upgraded to the 1760 or whatever, 880 single line, 1760 double line. And as you saw, that moves it with zero problem. Upgraded to better rollers. I got double bearings. Um, did my connections here a little bit different for the table. Don't know if you can see in there, but I drilled holes and put wire clamps. So now it's just one wire running all the way through instead of two wires easier to adjust that way uh, again roller did this roller a little bit different used a piece of c channel that i had and just drilled a hole made a bracket for it custom bracket and those are hard polyurethane wheels in there for the slides and uh, like i said that's it man that's my what i've been doing for the past couple weeks when i've not been posting anything fully electric over hydraulic 50 ton shot press and this frame would easily push 100 tons like i have no doubt in my mind that you could put a 100 ton cylinder on there but the 100 ton cylinder is like a thousand bucks and i was not going to spend that on it because i did not want to sink that kind of money into it so anyway that's my update guys hope you liked it if you got any questions please feel free to ask I uh, had fun doing it, 
don't know how soon I'm going to be building another one. Although I did just see a video of a really, really nice inner pack that I was like, ah, oh. and I know exactly where there's some steel uh, to get it to at not full price. But this one was built with all new steel, all new structural steel all the way through uh, grade eight hardware. Um, you know, like I said, that's it. Appreciate it. Thank you.